Hi guys, I'm Naturally Nika and today I will be sharing with you guys how I dye my locks ginger. I know it's been a long, 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 long time, but I'm back and we're going to get into another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. I'm going to shampoo my hair first using Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I'm going to show you guys this in case you would like to get you some. I like this stuff so far. I just started using it. And then I'm going to wash the shampoo out. I'm going to add a door rinse to my hair. And I'm probably going to leave it in about maybe 30 minutes. I don't know what it says on here. I don't even know if it's, oh, it says 15 minutes. But I'll probably leave it in 30 minutes just so it can soak into my locks. And then I'm going to rinse it out and shampoo my hair again, wash my hair. And then we're going to see how it comes out, guys, because I do not know. Right now, my hair is this funky, like, yellow color. On here, it looks kind of weird. Come a little closer. But I'm trying to get it to be a vibrant orange again. And also, I'm going to add into this video the processes that my hair has been through since I last did a video on YouTube, which was months and months ago so i'm going to show you guys my hair when it was like chocolate brown and i also had my hair ginger but i rinsed my hair about like probably six times since having ginger so it's not completely washed out but it's washing out like it's to its end so that's why i'm redying it so i need to revamp it and get it back orange and vibrant again so this is not the first time I rinse my hair. I have rinsed my hair burgundy a few times before I had locks. So hopefully I still know how to do it guys. We shall see. So I'm off to go wash my hair. I'm back from washing my hair and I got most of it out. I really didn't see much. I got a little bit on my towel which was so diluted. So it's like rarely there. I did want to talk a little bit about um, over the months. You guys have not seen me in a long ass time. So I wanted to talk about the changes that I have done to my hair. I had my hair a chocolate brown, which I'm probably going to add here or there. I don't know. But it was a chocolate brown, which I like. I didn't do it personally. I go get my hair done by this girl named Pris. I will put her IG somewhere right here. And she does a hell of a good job. And I also went back to her after rinsing out the brown and I had her do my hair ginger. She is very good with the coloring and she is awesome with the styling because my hair is so short, she got my hair in a halo. I don't know how it happened, but I will put a little snippet of it here maybe a snippet of a video or a picture i don't know we will find out when you see the video um so that was like the major changes that i did with my hair um the halo was new to me i never had a halo with my locks so you guys can see that so hopefully you guys enjoy the process that i have been doing with my hair back into dyeing my hair I have me a towel my hair is still wet in the back it's like the water all just drips down to the tips so I'm trying to make it a little bit damp before I start I'm gonna put this towel around me and I have my coconut oil, which I'm going to add to the edges of my hair and around my head so I don't dye my skin orange. Wouldn't want that. I 
I'm not going in and do the, doing the individual parts though. I'm, I'm big lazy. Just around my ears. The nape of my neck. This stuff is hard. It's getting cold outside. I guess that's why it's hard. It's usually melted in the summer. I have three bottles of a door dye. I don't know how much it's going to take. But I just got three bottles because I want the dye to soak into the locks. And get all in there. I don't want to just dye the outside. All right, I think we ready. Oh, my gloves, I got my gloves too. I'm prepared. A little bit. Hopefully I don't make a mess, guys. I'm hella clumsy. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm hella clumsy. I like to smell things. Don't think I'm weird or anything. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. I think I want to start. It really doesn't matter where I start because it's not like I'm going blonde or anything. So I'm going to start here in the front. Is it changing a little bit? I think I'm just gonna put it on in here. I haven't done this in a long time, so don't judge me. And I'm gonna squeeze it in to get it in there. You guys probably like, what are you doing? I'm gonna go back through it, guys. I'm in the office currently. So before I even rinse it out, I'm gonna go back through it to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm not about to be walking around here with yellow dreads and orange dreads. They need to all be one color. I'm gonna do one that's yellow. They're getting darker. I'm gonna come back so I can do at least half and then show you the other half. So I'll be right back. So I did half of my hair guys. As you can see, this is the half that is done. Come a little closer. And this is the half left undone. And it's coming along. I still have to do some of the back. I might have to get help. So I don't, you know, I don't want it to look spotty in the back. So I might get some help with the back, which is fine. Sometimes we need help, guys. I don't mind asking. Okay, move away from the door. No. No. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. I'm all finished putting the rinse in my hair. I think I used about two bottles and a half. And this is the outcome. I haven't rinsed it out yet. I'm going to rinse it out for you guys and then I'll be back to show you the outcome. So these are the results guys. My hair came out nice how I wanted it to come out. Like last time when I first had it dyed ginger. And I'm excited about that. I had help with the back because I couldn't get back there. 
Let me see if I can turn around so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that. Is not a spot left yellow. That's why I got help with the back because I didn't want it to look spotty. I could see the front real good. So I did everything in the front and a little bit of the top. And I love it. So now I'm back ginger and I'm gonna add in before and after pictures here so you guys can see and compare the difference because you probably like, I don't see the difference, but I see it girls, like I see it. It looks real nice, real nice to me. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.